Welcome back everybody. I had, I guess I had the idea for this video. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a stream of consciousness video because I want to talk about compliments. Um, this is a subject, a topic when it comes to perfume um, that basically uh, whole YouTube channels have been built around. And I want to talk about, first of all, my attitude to compliments. And I guess I'm very curious to find out you, whoever watches this video in the comments, uh, what what your experience is. Because if, if you watch certain channels or read certain reviews or blogs or um, comments in fragrance forums, you would be led to believe that some people, if they're wearing the right perfume, you know, basically get a comment on their perfume, positive comments on their perfume every time they wear it. Um, and there's a few things I want to break down about this because in the years that I've worn perfume every day, like, I, you know, I've very rarely gone a day without wearing perfume apart from a little bit last year during lockdown. Um, I very, very rarely get a compliment on, the, on my scent. And when I talk about compliments here, I need to be very clear. I'm talking about someone within my vicinity close enough to smell me who will smell what I'm wearing and say, I really like that perfume, that scent you're wearing, whatever. Not A compliment is not me asking my mum uh, what she thinks of the perfume that I wore today and her giving me an affirmative answer. That is not a compliment to me. When you have to solicit a response about your scent, that's not a compliment because honestly, how many people are going to say they don't like what you're wearing if you ask them what they think? Maybe, maybe some people are honest. But my point is that I can literally remember every compliment that I have received for a perfume. I, probably not every, but I, I was going, before I shot this video, I was going through and trying to write down all the perfumes that I remembered getting complimented on. And they're going to start or maybe here, or that side, I don't know. They're gonna start scrolling up on the screen. I'm gonna put the names of the perfumes that I actually remember the compliment. Um, and because, because it doesn't happen very often, so it's very easy for me to remember. And when I was writing these perfumes down, it was interesting to me because a lot of these perfumes that you're gonna see up on the screen, I no longer own. And that was just due to me eventually not liking them enough to keep in my collection. I still have a few, um, but it's interesting. It, I just found that interesting that the stuff that actually got me a, an external reaction ultimately didn't do enough for me internally to want to keep the, the perfume. So I want to say at this point that I love being complimented on my perfume. I, I, it makes me feel good. Like I, a compliment to me, I guess, is a small sign, a small affirmation from another person that your taste is okay in, in what you're choosing to wear, right? Um, <clears throat> it's the same, it's the same, I guess it's the same kind of phenomena um, flipped around when people get offended about other people not liking the the perfume that they like um it's it's kind of a little bit of a critique on your taste but a compliment is, is obviously the opposite it it kind of um reinforces or affirms that you know that someone else likes how you smell and it's and thinking of that now, I it is it is still in, really an interesting thing for me that I you know pretty much eventually got rid of um, 
quite a lot of these perfumes. Now, as you read the names that are scrolling up on the screen, I want you to take note of something. I don't ever have ever associated any of the perfumes that I have been complimented on with hyped up compliment getters. There is, there is literally um, tons of videos out there in you, on YouTube and lists on Instagram about compliment getter perfumes. Um, perfumes that more times than not will get you a compliment. They, I guess they're also known as crowd pleasers and whatever. And I, and I get, I get, I understand that that can actually be uh, a thing because we're talking about perfumes that probably have a safe kind of uh, aroma or scent profile that's not likely to offend anyone. And more than, more than often than not, there is a kind of sweetness to it. And, you know, how many people don't like something sweet um there's probably more associations that people can make uh, external associations that people can make with those kind of smells than a skanky oud or uh, a sweaty spice that kind of thing so there there is that and i and i honestly understand there is a group of perfumes that sit within that family that will not offend anyone and if you and if you smell it you would probably think to yourself oh well it's that's pleasant um but how many of us who watch fragrance youtube videos are this into fragrance really settle for just pleasant um so we we look for something that's more interesting so i want to say i've always my attitude for most of the time I've been wearing perfume is I have to really enjoy smelling it on myself. First of all, I have to find it interesting. I have to find something to connect with, especially when I'm talking about owning bottles of perfumes for me to like it. And if other people like it, that's, that's kind of a bonus. It's a little bit of a cherry on, on top of the icing, I guess. Um, at the same time, in the past, when I have received compliments, there is this kind of um, <laughs> internal, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Internal struggle, I guess, between being pleased that someone likes my perfume. And then at the same time, I wonder, hmm, is this because I've sprayed too much? Is it too strong? Um, I'll give you one example, okay? And I haven't actually listed it listed it on here. Um, I once had a sample of Parfum de Mali's um, Leighton. Now, Leighton is one of those perfumes that appears a lot in these type of compliment getter lists. I personally thought it was okay, but like it kind of reminded me of a couple of thing, cheaper things and I wasn't that excited by it. But again, it was pleasant. But on the very same day, I wore Leighton and like literally within an hour, right, I, I received a compliment um, from a co-worker about how, how, I, how good I smelled. Um, and they were kind of, you know, like close by. They were in within a couple of metres of me. And then I walked out of that room and into a room with, with you know, where there were lots of other people. Um, and someone from about five, ten, well, five, seven meters away made a comment about who was wearing the, who'd sprayed on too much Lynx body spray. And I'm sure he was talking about me. So a couple of things, I had no idea how much that was projecting. Um, I, I didn't overspray, I never overspray. Um, but this person hated that smell or may, or thought that it was really generic and unpleasant and someone liked it. So uh, getting compliments like is a little, for me is a little bit of a uh, double-edged sword because it makes me wonder how strong this is. Another, another example was me wearing um, Terre d'Hermes 
Parfum. All right, now I like that scent very much. I don't have a bottle of it, but but I enjoyed using up my decant of it. Here is a, here is another example where there might be aroma chemicals molecules in there, and in this instance, I'm pretty sure it was ISOE Super, where I'd put that thing on in the morning by midday, one o'clock. You know, I couldn't smell it anymore. I thought it worn off. Later that evening, so we're talking another six hours later, um, I went to see someone um, and as soon as they opened the door to greet me, the first thing they said, oh, you smell really good. And, and it suddenly dawned on me that, you know, that nose fatigue is um, at play here for some, for some aroma chemicals. And I thought this perfume had gone um, and, someone else could still smell it really clearly so you know I took that as a compliment that's great but you got also got to be aware that um, other people are smelling something could be smelling something different to what you're smelling what you're experiencing I had the reverse happen to me where uh, one of the one of um, the earliest one of the first bottles I bought when I started growing my my wardrobe was actually Paco Rabanne's Invictus and I had it for a few months and I quickly grew tired of its you know kind of generic style I guess um, I don't want to say I hated it I just I just didn't enjoy wearing it anymore so I got rid of it and maybe a year 18 months later I'm at a party and I'm talking to my cousin and he's smelling really good and and by then i could tell that it's probably um you know it's probably nothing indie or hard to get um just would have bought it from a department store because he knows not much about perfume um but he smelled he just smelled really good and and i said to him oh, like what what are you wearing because it's it's really it's really pleasant um and it was Invictus. And that was another thing that I learned that stuff can smell different on different on other people, obviously. I mean, a lot of there's some argument to say skin chemistry doesn't matter that much, but I, I kind of think it does. I think smelling it on different skin, on fabric, on card always makes a difference. But my point is to get back to compliment, the subject of compliments is that it smelled good on him. Whereas if I was wearing it, I would never think it was smelling good. Um, so there's that. My rambling, as I said, this is a bit of stream of consciousness. It, my point is that firstly, this this parallel world where people get complimented on their perfume multiple times and you know can come up with most complimented lists of perfumes I, I don't know where that world is um, it might be a cultural thing I live in Australia in Melbourne pretty kind of you know small L liberal city not too conservative but not many people you know it doesn't happen very very often like I know that I have smelled um, nice perfumes on strangers uh, in public a couple of times, and only once did I feel inclined to ask what that what that person was wearing because I was sitting right next to them on a train, and I just you know like I wasn't going to sit there for half an hour and and not ask. Um, but I don't know, maybe where all of you live or where you know people who who are watching who do get complimented on their perfume um I'd, I'd really like to hear more about the circumstances that you're getting complimented in because maybe it, it is a cultural thing it's an environmental thing geography who who knows and um but i'd like to think that my situation is probably more common than what you see on social media, I think if you if you look at enough fragrance social media, you would be led to believe that if you just buy the right five perfumes, you're going to get a compliment every time you wear it. Now, if that happens to you, please let me know in the comments um, what your experience is, because it's it seems like such a, a foreign thing to me. But I do want to say, I do want to emphasize that 
Every time I've received a compliment, it's, it's made me feel, initially at least, made me feel really good. Um, it's so nice to get compliments. I, I just very, very rarely get them on my perfume. I hope that you all do occasionally because it's a nice feeling. And let me start off, let me end the video by saying you all smell wonderful today. Um, what are you wearing? I'll see you all next time. Bye.